What about tax-free income? So with a whole life insurance policy, why people use whole life insurance to generate tax-free income, well, I should say they use it for income. One is because it is tax-free, which I gave that away. But then second, remember I've got guarantees associated with the policy. It's not invested in the market. A lot of times people we work with do have other income sources set up in retirement, and they're using this as a piece of the puzzle or a piece of their portfolio. The reason why is because of the tax-free piece in case tax brackets change, and then also the guarantees. I've got some assurance as far as what I'm going to have. So again, someone will say, I really like the tax advantages and guarantee that I'm going to have money in retirement. Remember this, a 30-year-old that paid $500 per month, and when she retired at 65, she had about $500,000 in cash value. Let's take some income from this. So here we go. She's going to take, starting at age 66 in this example, $2,000 per month. Here's what I want to hit on. If we go back, she's paid six k per year up until age 65. How much did she pay out of pocket? Total. This column, total funding, tells us that. So if this is you and you pay $500 a month for 35 years, you would have paid a total of $210,000. So now when she takes income, this column called total outlay, $210,000, but the next year goes down to 186. The reason why is because she's pulled $24,000. So she paid 210 total in, now she's starting to take money out. When it goes into the red, that means she's pulled more money from the policy than what she's paid in. So at the end of this, at 95 years old, we see negative $510,000. That means she got her $210,000 back plus another $510,000. That was all income tax-free, provided we didn't mess it up, which we can talk about later. But we can often get significantly more back than what we paid in. Here's a bigger policy. He's starting, or we're starting here at year 20. He's already paid in $1.5 million. He's going to take $150,000 per year out. So again, look at that total payments column. When he pulls one fifty dollars per year out, you'll see that total payments column decreased by one fifty dollars per year. So $150,000 times 10 years is $1.5 million. He paid in $1.5 million. So at age 74, he got all of his money back. At age 74, he still has $2.65 in cash value and $3.65 in death benefit. And he keeps on pulling money out until he gets an additional $3 million. At that point, he's 95 years old and still has money left in the policy. So here's a question. Is it always tax-free? The answer is no. We can mess it up. And this is always a point I like to, to hit on. You may have heard me say, or, or you may have picked up on it a couple of times, that I say tax-free if done so properly. Here it is. Your cash value can be accessed tax-free if, if, if done so properly. So when you look at a life insurance policy, there are IRS limits or IRS rules. The IRS looks at our policy and really they have a guideline that allows them to determine, is this life insurance policy going to be viewed as life insurance in our eyes or as a taxable investment? If it becomes a taxable investment, the cash value can then be taxable, specifically the gains when we pull the money out. The name for this limit is called a modified endowment contract, or I should say a taxable event is a modified endowment contract. Your policy can become this. The short version of this is a MEC. And if it does become a MEC, what happens is your cash value still grows tax deferred, but anything you access with respect to the gains, you have to pay ordinary income tax on. And if you're under the age of 59 and a half, you would have to pay a 10% penalty tax. So we don't want that to occur. We're going to prevent it if possible. And there are other cases where taxes can occur with a non-MEC policy. It's very easy to prevent, but that is something we do make sure we really educate on because you never want that to happen. With all of that said, it is very easy to prevent the MEC because we have what's called a MEC limit. We set it, we set it up uh, with your policy on day one. You'll see that it has a direct relationship to the death benefit. Very easy to prevent a MEC. And even if it does happen, it's usually pretty easy to reverse provided we catch it early.